we're going to talk about the Japanese paper pot transplanter system. The system was developed in Japan by the sugar beet industry and it's also used for alliums. We use it here on the farm primarily for onions, leeks, and head lettuce. It's a really interesting system. It was designed to plant a lot of plants in a short amount of time. It uses this paper pot system and they're special, it's a specially designed setup uh, that involves these paper pots, a set of spreading rods and tray, and then these hard plastic trays. The paper pots come in either two, four, or six inch spacing within the row. This is the two inch spacing. You can see it's narrower because it doesn't have as much paper in it. And then a four inch and a six inch. Each tray, regardless of the spacing, holds 264 plants. So that's really nice because you can maximize your greenhouse space um, using these hard plastic trays and the, the paper pot system. To set up the paper pots, you take your spreading rods and you slide them in between these two pieces of white paper on either side of the paper pot. You set the paper pots over the tray here and the tray has a set of metal tabs that hold the paper pots in place. Once you've got it set up on the tabs, you can go ahead and slide out the spreading rods. So once you have that set up, you take your hard plastic tray, slide it over the honeycombs and flip it upright. And then go over to your soil bin and fill up the trays. You want to be careful about, if you have a compost-based mix, you want to be sure that you um, try to filter out some of the larger chunks of bark or if there's any gravel in your mix for some reason because a large chunk can actually end up filling up a whole cell. Um, the cells are so small. Take it back over to your bench and now that it's filled you can take this expander tray off and your cells are all set in place and you're ready to seed. The next step is to make a divot in each one of the brown cells and we just use our fingers which takes a little bit of practice because it's on a honeycomb pattern. They also make a, a dibber which you can use to um, set over the tray and it makes a hole in each cell in one shot. And then you can go ahead and seed. We find that seeding along the length of the tray as long as you're only doing one one type of plant in each tray is easier than trying to navigate the honeycomb pattern. Once you have your tray totally seeded, you take it back over to your bin of soil mix, and then you can lightly cover the seeds with your soil mix. Next, we're going to take this tray of leeks down to the field and we'll show you how the Japanese paper pot transplanter works. Now we're going to talk about the Japanese paper pot transplanter and we're going to be using it today to plant some leeks. Uh, this unit is a small scale tool used for transplanting the paper pots that we talked about in the greenhouse. It's pretty lightweight. It weighs about 40 pounds and it has a handle right here that's designed to help you carry it around the field. It is fully adjustable. It has a pin right here so you can adjust the height of the handles. And the way that it works is that you pull it through the bed and it has a furrower right here which you can see that makes a furrow for the plants. It lays the plants out and then these little sweeps in the back here cover up the plants and then the press wheels set them into the soil. You can adjust the depth of the furrow very easily, just adjusting the wheels here. So you can raise and lower these wheels, which makes the furrow deeper or shallower. When you're ready to plant, you take your tray, slide this metal tray up under your plants, and then you set it on the transplanter. The paper pot transplanter really only works if you have very well prepared soil, such as this bed here was just tilled this morning. If you have a lot of 
uh, residue in your beds or really rocky soil, the transplanter is not going to work as well. So we're ready. We've got our little tray inserted in under the flat. And now we're going to set it down onto the transplanter. And then the first step, you want to get it set up in your bed and start making a furrow. And then you pull out your first row of plants. There's this extra white paper on the outside, which you don't need. So, get your plant started. You need to have a screwdriver or some sort of stake that you use to hold the paper pot in place. When you're ready to go, we've found that it's easier to stand directly behind the unit and you just pull backwards and you'll see it's unfurling the plants. When you get to the end of the row, you just break the paper off and then pull your transplanter out of the way. And then you can just cover up those last few plants by hand. If you missed any plants, you can go back with extra transplants and easily drop them in to the bed in the right spacing. The paper pots, it's nice because they, one of the really nice advantages of the paper pots is that all your plants are evenly spaced within the row. So these are all spaced at six inches in the row. So this bed here on the left, we transplanted about a month ago with bunching onions, and they're on two inch spacings versus the leeks, which are on a six inch spacing. But it took one person about half an hour to transplant 400 row feet of these onions, which is significantly faster than if you were gonna be transplanting out of a traditional plug tray system. So I think that the Japanese paper pot transplanter could be a really good addition to your farm if you do a lot of transplanting of closely spaced crops, and you do a lot of successions of them. We've really had good luck with the system this year. We do a lot of succession transplants of crops that are closely spaced, and it has definitely worked for us. Uh, we have really nice soil, uh, not a lot of rocks, and not a lot of residue, which is what the transplanter likes. Uh, you definitely need to make sure that you're getting the plants out into the field at the correct stage and make sure that they feed out of the transplanter properly. But otherwise, we've been really happy with this system.